why are you the way you are? Do you realize you are the way you are because someone told you that you should be that way? Someone expressed to you that they admired it and so you kept reflecting it. And that's okay. Let me give you an example. Take left hand dominance and right hand dominance. Why are you left handed and why are you right handed? More than likely because someone told you and expressed to you that that was your dominant side. So they reinforced it over and over and over again. And then you went to school and they schooled your soul on how to properly express itself through the, 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 the feminine side or the masculine side, the creative side or the logical side. And because of that, you are right-handed or left-handed. Because of that, also, you are out of balance. You are making decisions out of balance. You are speaking out of balance. You are existing and being out of balance. See, the way that you're programmed when you come in to this world has a huge effect on the way you view the world. So if you're looking at the world with one eye instead of both eyes, then you can't see both points of view. Therefore, you can't come into balance and bring both of them into union within you so that the two can become one. And then you truly can visualize and see behind the veil. Behind the illusion. See, when you predominantly use your right hand, that means it is at the exclusion of the left. So it becomes weaker it becomes out of balance. One day you realize you can't really use it that much. What good is it for except for the whole things for the dominant hand? And because that's your view of the world, you express it as within, so without. All that reflects back to you not going for what you want in your life. For making excuses for why you don't deserve the things that you do. See, it's not okay that certain things keep happening to you over and over. It's not going to get better until you decide it's going to get better. Or until you stop hating yourself and start loving yourself. Come into balance and union within to express the self-love. Because no matter what, all creation, all manifestation comes from within. So what are you being? Are you a human being self-hate? Or are you a being, being self-love? See, if you know yourself, then you know which state of energy you're pulling in. Are you being in a state of self-hate or a state of self-love? Are you anchoring and pulling in the true vibrations of love? Or are you pulling in the lower conscious forms that bring about self-hate. What are you being? You are responsible for what you are being. Man, know thyself. Man, know yourself. Know who you are. 
what you like, what you don't like, so that you can fix it. The only one that can do it all is you. The only one that can pay the price is you. Then you get to walk into self-love, into having value. And guess what that leads to? Being sovereign, the sovereign self. It is time to be sovereign. You have a soul purpose. Life purposes can change, but a soul purpose never changes. Why do I say that? Because your life can change. Circumstances can happen to you in your life that make that purpose non-existent. And you have to come to a different life purpose. So life purposes can change. One day you want to be a doctor. Next day you want to be a lawyer. One day you want to save the world. One day you realize you can't. You got to save yourself. Life purposes change, but your soul purpose never, ever changes. Your soul came here for a reason. And it's high time. It's the high time for you to find out and know what it is and then exist in it and be it. It's time to get out of that consciousness of duality and get into the consciousness that brings unification on all sides of your being, of your expression. I love you, and I know there are many other people that do too, but it means absolutely nothing if you do not love yourself. If you do not stand in your sovereignty, you cannot love yourself.